Jeez, and I thought this tower was bigger on the outside. They look bigger on the outside. How oh, dull. I don't see any nearby. Enemies nearby. Yeah, wanna tell a story? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Knock yourself out. One a long, long, long time ago, before the grandparents of anyone was born. There were people. There was only water until one day a girl appeared. The girl was very clever and she forged the first land. Then she made trees and flowers and then a bunch of other things. Story of the Grand Creation. Heard it. Wake me when it's over. No, wake up, Tabarn. The girl was you, right? Or are you talking about Ashra? Both. And neither, actually. At first, the girl was excited about her new world and she thought of little else. Then she started feeling lonely. Everyone, every being she created was different for her. Not a single person could truly understand her. All alone, she grew sadder and sadder, crying for thousands of years. Then some creatures began to grow and change, becoming more clever and sophisticated. They tried to comfort the girl and eventually grew closer to her. The birth of the Zunama. They were your ancestors, Bjork, the Goose, and everybody. Now, again, if characters like, if the war worlds like Lindsay and Nyla were here, it'd be bigger, but they're not. In Benyon, we were taught that the Zunama were human, are being Bjork ancestors. I'm sure there's a fish reason why the centers would teach that. Probably help the slaves. Yep. It's possible that truth was simply misunderstood, like the way everyone calls Yune a dark god. Anyways, they worshipped her like a goddess. They set her hair with the striking of the colors of Dawn's first light, so they gave her a name. The Goddess of Dawn. The Goddess of Dawn. The Zuan... Blah, 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 blah. Naturally, each of the races thought their own was superior, and everyone... Then war became his long. And she tried everything, even though they wouldn't stop fighting. So, in the end, only one thing happened. The Great Flood. The goddess was only trying to bring an end to the fighting, but her power was so great that all the continents were drowned in the flood, ex all except for Tilly's. And then everyone died. Yeah. A lot of people heard different abridged versions of this story. Interesting, is it not? Neither the Nagus nor the Bjork have an accurate description by the sound of it. Wonder who twisted the story. Maybe someone else could tell us. And I know who. Yep. Kurt's dad. The Dragon King. Degincia. Yep. We're doing it now. Degincia, King of Goldoa. He's supposed to be one of the three who defeated the Dark God. He's been blessed by Ashra. Not only that, but it's a powerful, resilient blessing from long ago. He may be nearly impossible to defeat. So, now comes the point where, yeah, this is, whatever, this is the point where things no longer fool around. So, yeah, when Ashra set out to defeat Yune, three warriors gathered. The goddess's blessing, which was given to both the swords of the of the woman Altina, the Lagoos warrior Soen, and Diginzia, leader of the Dragon Tribe. So yes. This time she's gonna give she's going to do something herself. So this is important. Right now at this point. You need to Okay, so for the last three chapters, the last the bosses are going to have blessings. What this means is um, no weapons, any weapon that you're equipped will be blessed, meaning it will have infinite uses. And only those weapons that have been blessed will do damage to the boss. Any other weapon won't do anything. So for that reason, for any people who have, so for like any non lagoos characters, equip your best weapons for that, for the next two chapters. So in this case, of Edward, I don't know. We want to give him the Vecati or the Allendite. I think he should have the Allendite. Leonardo probably equipped the Lung Nasdaq. Because the speed boost is really coming in handy. Ashley gets a double bow. And, okay, and, wait, yeah. Even if Ike's not equipped Ragnell, he'll still have it on later on. Okay, Ragnell for Ike, Rexor for Micaiah, Baselar for Soth. Cymbeline for Sanaki, Wishblade for Marsha. Okay, yeah, so basically for the blessings, prioritize the legendary weapons first, followed by, I guess, the brave weapons, I guess. And then, probably anything else afterwards. So, okay. 
Wishblade, Rave Lance, Irvin, Lugnazeth, Allen Dyke, Rex Scalibur, Double Bow. Yeah, we're good. So now, three conversations between bonding between Makai and Soul. How about you? Are you hurt? I'm not a child, Makai. When you get start treating me like an adult, show me your hand. <laughs> Their hands, they're bigger, much, they were so small when they met. And then I ruins the moment. So, Makai doesn't seem worried. Salt is just embarrassed. It's just like, and he ran away. Jeez, take it easy, Salt. It's not like he's your boss. Oh, wait, yes, he is. So, how long have you been with him? A very long time. Right in the back alleys in Nevada over several years ago. He was so skinny, but his gaze was so piercing. Yeah. So, one day he noticed you standing so close. And this is how Makai and Salt met. You get this conversation only if Makai and Soth have an A's support conversation. But that's already given because, you know, they already have that level right at the start. So, you could be asking, what kind of terrible monster would break up such a wonderful and caring relationship? Well, I kind of did the first time I played this game. I tried pairing Makai and Soth up with different characters because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And, yeah, I broke up the, I broke up the happy relationship. Aren't I a great t marriage counselor? I shouldn't be that way. So yes, Makaya was fear fearful of her branded attracting tension to her and Soth, so she abandoned him for his own safety. Of course, he was really, really angry. But Makaya learned Makaya realized how much she was she screwed up and decided and realized she needed him, so she found him. But thankfully Ike found him Ike beat her to it. Yeah. Ike doesn't care about anything, so why should it matter? They're the same all, no way, no matter what. Yeah. I'll go, but she'll go back today, no matter what happens, she'll have her by her side, no matter what. It's not incest because they're not brother and sister. Seriously. Seriously. It's because, you know, they have a, they have a relationship that's like brother and sister, but they're actually not. Thank goodness, because... I don't know anybody in the right mind who likes incest. It's stupid. Zelgius is the Black Knight. Oh yeah, Sanaki's still revel reveling over the fact that it, sh it was the Black Knight. That was a chapter ago, Sanaki. Keep up with the times, will ya? And of course, Saffron's still there. Of course. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? You don't suspect Saffron, do you? Well, it wouldn't be the most surprising, to be honest. So, and Tanaki's still in denial of that. Oh, and a skill for Ike. Well, you're in trust today, just like Zephyrin, so you have to live. Yep. A Pavi skill. A Pavi skill. But I don't know who I want to give it to. Oh, and then, um, this is different with depending on which hair on you have. But what you get is still the same. It's a guard scroll. No, Racing, you cannot use that scroll. Alright. Eh, whatever, put the head chart away. I forgot I had that still. Um, I'll save this one, I guess. And let's fight. Okay, I think we're all ready. Just need the Lagoos to transform. And let's begin. That was something. <laughs> I just like it. Everyone's just looking. It's like, what the hell just happened? And Yune is out of commission. But of course, that won't stop Makaya from still battling. Yeah. So, what happened to Yune? That took a lot of power out of her. So, let's just get to it. And... Guess who's here? It's Papa Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen. Karathnaga, I was inspecting this. It's safe to assume you've come prepared to fight. How many times have I said it? How many times have I warned against starting another war? 
We have betrayed our vow to the goddess. We should have learned, but the fighting never stopped. Now we must pay for our crimes. And now he addresses all the Lagoos kings if they're there. You don't understand. It wasn't the war that woke the goddess. It was my song. The Galder really freed the goddess. You can't expect me to believe that. We will wait here patiently for the punishment reserve. If you're on... Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, I guess it doesn't, um, address the kings. Whatever. If you're not willing to accept judgment... And then... You will stand against the mightiest of all dragons! Dragonborn! Yeah, you know what? I should put in the... I'm putting in the Skyrim theme, I don't care. But... Yep, regardless. Yep, there he is. The strongest dragon of all time, and... Quite, quite possibly the toughest boss in the game. I'm saying it right now, he's tougher than Astral. Dickensia is... I was draining this boss fight for a long time. Yep, there's no use, Kurth. We have no choice but to fight. We must reach the goddess. Not even the king of dragons can stand in our way. Uh, you, you don't be so sure about that, Ike. He could be a problem. Alright, now then. Let's upgrade our relationship, shall we? Alright, I guess I'll pair Kurth and Ina together. Might as well. They have nobody. Might as well have each other. Okay. Marsha and Astrid, you guys can uh, increase too. Surprised it was quicker. Oh, and Jill and Hart too? Wow. Okay. Um, and I guess you guys can support as well. Might as well. Okay. So... Before we start this chapter, let's go over why this why this guy is in so much trouble. Allow me to show you. Degentia is the strongest Lagoos king in all of them, in the entire game. And look at those stats. Just look at them. 100 health, 50 strength, 50 defense, 30 speed, 36 skill. Massive 75 damage. That is the highest damage in the game. Coupled with the fact that he comes equipped, him and the two other bosses later on come equipped with Mantle, which is like Nihil and Fortune. And plus it gives you 30 health at the end of t start of each turn. Not only is this effect, not only is he immune against all the battle skills, but he's also immune to critical hits. And then we have the Ire skill, which does triple damage. And unless you're not packing Nihil, it's pretty much a death sentence. So not even the Lagoos Kings are safe. And on top of that, they're all dragons. I mean, let's go. I mean, dragons, they have a lot of power, which is, which is bad for us. But they're really slow, so we can double them, which is good. They have double range. They have long range, too, which is bad. But they have terrible luck, so they can't really hit. Of course. Oh yeah, whatever. There's also Nasir and Gareth. Leave these guys alone and they'll join you up at the end of the game. Oh, and uh, finally, another point I should point out. If... If Kurth and Ina attack these dragons, or any of them, they will not retaliate against the two. So now they decide to show us mercy. Okay, but regardless, this is now where we have the hardest chapter in the game, ladies and gentlemen. So let's give let's give Racing his um his uh Lagoos gem. We have another later on. And let's go ahead and take you guys down. Starting with you. So yeah, we saw red dragons a few chapters ago. Now we have the white dragons, which are pretty much the magical variants of them. And then we see Kanegus just um, laying waste to them. Good start. I like where this is going so far. Okay, so, hey look, Leo can actually double something, but he's not doing shit against these guys. Oh shit, I... I fucked up. I forgot. I forgot something. 
So I forgot to give um, experience points to people. All right, let's level up. So give him one level. Maybe I'll get some other things now. He's got some stuff. All right. Kaya gets a level up too, I guess, and she's kept um, luck. Ooh, another speed growth. Wonderful. Okay. R, you can have some too. Did he cap anything? No, he's not. Jill capped two things, which means she should get some stuff too, I suppose. That's great. Um... I should give in some to Marsha, whatever. Okay, so, um, skills. If you remember back in chapter 4-3, the fucking desert level, we picked up a Dragon Foe scroll. You want to give it to someone who can, who has, you want to combine it with the Arbalest crossbow in chapter 4-4. That makes things a lot easier. So, we'll give that to Leo. Edward, um, you don't need Paragon. Let's give it to someone who needs some growth. Like, I don't know. How about Sanaki? Because, you know, she really needs it. She needs to level up badly. We gotta fix that. Oh, God. Um, we need... Let's see. Okay, Pavice. I believe that's like, you know, for Tabarn, which means it activates on the skill. Okay, fine. Asteroid, you can have Pavice. I'm giving it to her because I don't care. I'm too lazy to move things. And we have a guard skill. Um. You know what? We'll leave that for later. Okay, now let's try this again. I think we're good this time. All right, from the top. Let's try this again. Now let's make a, let's take a quick look. Okay, it's decent, but you know it ain't enough. Yep. See, Man, this is why I gave Leo the Arbalest and Arbalest plus Dragon Bow equals GG Dragons. Get good. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna come in handy. I'm calling right now. Especially since we don't have to worry about Leo being doubled. Cause look at these guys. They're slow as hell. 12 speed. Yeah, you don't have to worry about them doubling you. The only thing you gotta worry about is them actually hurting you. Hold on, King Nasala. Don't you think it'd be better if we side by side? I think it's the buddy system, but if teaming up bump side chances are weird, then whatever. Nasala just doesn't really care, does he? I'm putting, I'm making a big risk play here, but you know what, let's give it a try. Arc Thunder, let's use it to our advantage. Oh God. That is stupid. That is ridiculous. Sanaki, you got a lot of catching up to do, your holiness. Dear. That's not winning me over. Not, not at all. But thankfully, your good buddy Nisala is here to um, patch things up. Uh, do you want to get a tear off there, buddy? Uh, I'd appreciate it. Come on. Nope. Oh, come on! How'd you get hit? That was like a one in four chance. Seriously? Oh, at least you got the tear off. Hang on, let's um... Okay, screw it. Can't you just go for it? There. Now, um, go rip into him like, once again. He got to crit again, seriously? <laughs> How did he do that? Okay, you know what? Uh, you may just ask me for bringing Lagoos Royals, but I'm just gonna say right now, I don't think even they are, even the likes of Tabarn and Sala are safe from them. 
Yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage, and it's going to hurt. A lot. You will have a tough time. People will die. A lot. Oh, let's talk. Astrid, since we're both here, how about we work together? Certainly, if you wish, I'll stay by your side. And now, uh, Marsha with the Wishblade. She can kill that guy. Because, you know, got the damage. Actually, maybe I could have gone for a closer range for a stun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you see why this chapter is annoying? Do you see why I was dreading this chapter? Yeah. I think I made it clear in the past that I was scared of this chapter. And it shows. It friggin' shows, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, there you go, that's something. So this is why, at this point, you want to make sure your units are equipped with the best weapons possible. And I think Astrid is capped with speed, again. Has she? Let, let's take a look. Let's have a look. Nope, never mind. But she's got enough strength for some stuff. Okay. Shift. Oh, yeah, like I said, and again, like I said before, um, these dragons will not attack Kurth or Ina, but they can attack. It doesn't matter anyways because Ina and Kurth ain't doing anything, and they're not doing favors for you. But fine, if you want to do something, go ahead. Take your 1 XP and shove it in your dragon hole. Okay, no. You know what? I'm gonna heal you from a distance instead. I'm gonna heal you safely like this. Because I don't want to put... Because again, nothing's stopping these dragons from one-shotting Makaya. She may have decent um, defense now that she has the Rex Aura, but she's still gonna die a lot. In fact, you know what? Let's start with this guy. I'll kill you first. Yup, there goes that. And Mr. Dragon says, nope. We'll see, Tabon could dodge. And he had, well, he had a higher, slightly higher chance of dodging than Nasala, but still, that's no excuse. So what the heck, buddy? Hang on, how much can I do with the pest cats? Not enough. I don't know if I want to do that. That seems that seems risky. So nuts to that, I say. Aaron and Leo, you stick together like brothers. Yeah, I think uh, giving him the Allen Knight was probably a better choice. Good shit, Edward. I made the right choice giving you that. Okay. Booyah. Now he's got more defense. So 27 defense. That's decent. 17 resistance. Not that good. So he could get hurt. That might hurt. Fuck, these guys hurt so much. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, no. Just, just no. Um, I don't know if these guys will attack racing or not, but I don't think they will. Okay, you know what? Let's deal with this first. Oh god, they hurt so much! Fine, whatever, do this. Can you stun her, please? Thank you, Jill! That's all I needed. 
All right, that's one less problem for us now. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, um, in in easy mode, every can not only do, are your is your every character blessed, but they all get five stat boosts to every single stat, which is actually pretty much useful. 